There is an atmosphere of fear being created, says civil judge Ravi Kumar Divakar. The Varanasi court has ordered videography of the Gyanwapi mosque premises, the entire mosque, including the basement. And if any rooms in the basement are locked, they are to be videographed. The locks will either have to be opened or broken, but this videography is to be completed in a time-bound manner. The administration has been tasked to ensure that court orders are followed and implemented in toto. The bigger cause for concern at this point of time is the learned civil judge Ravi Devakar observing that his family fears for his life and he's concerned about the safety and well-being of his family. Why is that the case? That remains a cause for grave concern. I want to quickly cut across to India today's Preeti Chaudhary joins us from Ground Zero in Varanasi. Uh, Preeti, tell us more about the verdict and especially the aspect where a judge is worried about his family's safety and the reaction to the verdict on ground. You know, Gaurav, the verdict, of course, uh, a big win for the petitioners there. Uh, there were two things that needed to be decided uh, that were being awaited. The order was reserved for that. Number one uh, was the fact whether videography would be allowed. It was allowed in a time-bound manner by the 17th of May. Uh, a proper videography survey needs to be conducted and the report needs to be filed and submitted uh, with the court, which is the 17th of May. So on that account, a big win. Account number two, um, there was demand, especially by the administration, uh, administration of the Gyan Bapi Masjid, where they said that they did not have faith in the person who is, uh, in, you know, who's supposed to conduct the survey. Uh, the uh, commissioner in this question, Ajay Kumar Mishra, uh, they wanted him removed. They wanted a, a, a different person to take his place. Well, that wasn't there. Uh, he continues to be so. He's going to be assisted by two other commissioners as well. Now, in terms of the order, copy is just about to come now. Uh, this, and it's only now that uh, the administration of the Gyan Bapi Mosque is going to look at this judgment because, mind you, while we've been hearing from the petitioners, we haven't quite heard the stand of the mosque administration. They're going through the verdict and then they're going to definitely approach a higher court. Whether they okay. approach the Atabad High Court, because now that's the next step. If you look at from a Sessions Court, you have to approach the Atabad High Court. Will they do it tomorrow? In all probability. But right now, no confirmation coming on that. Yes, uh, worry, some noti worry some notifications, especially observations by the judge where he says that there is an atmosphere of uh, fear and that he, uh, you know, uh, he is uh, scared that his family uh, feels uh, unsafe for him uh, and uh, themselves as well. Well, you know, these are uh, grave allegations. And if there has been a sense of threat or, uh, you know, a perception or there's okay. been a direct threat to the judge, it needs to be uh, corroborated, uh, you know, if, there, if that threat has been made to him. And he can also ask for security. Because well, mind you... Absolutely. Preeti, for joining me here on India First, many thanks. Now, videography at the Gyanwapi Mosque will be carried out. And anyone obstructing it should be dealt with as per law. The learned civil judge Ravi Kumar Divakar today ordered survey and videography to be carried out and a report submitted by the 17th of May. Two additional commissioners have also been appointed to allay fears of the Muslim side. Even the basement will have to be videographed, but the question remains, will the process interrupted twice in the past be successful the third time? Will the Yogi Adityanath government ensure that court orders are implemented. Preeti Chaudhary and Samarth Srivastav in Kashi bring you our top story. Big win for Hindu petitioners in the Gyanwapi Moss survey case. A Varanasi court has given the go-ahead to resume survey of the mosque. The court appointed one more special commissioner, Vishal Singh, along with existing commissioner, Ajay Kumar Mishra, for the survey. An assistant commissioner, Ajay Pratap Singh, has also been added to the team. Many local residents of Varnasi welcomed the verdict. 
हम लोग खुशी है कि पक्ष में हमारे ही पक्ष में फैसला आएगा आप अंदर क्यों नहीं जाने दे रहे हैं आप अंदर जाइए वीडियोग्राफी करें आपको क्या दिक्कत हो रहा है क्या डर लग रहा है आपको अगर आपको लग रहा है की गलत है तो फिर सही है अब आपका मस्जिद आप फिर डरते क्यों है एंड सो डि राइट विंग लीडर्स ज्ञान व्यापी मामले में जिस प्रकार से माननीय कोर्ट ने जो आदेश दिया है बहुत ही सराहनीय मैं इसका सराहना करता हूं ये जो जिहादी मानसिकता के लोग हैं उनके उनको सबसे बड़ा एक कालिक पूतने का काम किया और माननीय कोर्ट ने ये वो कर दिया कि जो उन्होंने कमेटी बनाई थी वो वो, वो बिल्कुल सही था बीजेपी विच इज सो फार केप्ट डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी हैज ऑल्सो वेलकम द वर्ड इट The verdict in Gyanwapi case is a big vindication for those who are for Samvidhan and video survey, and a big slap on the face of those who, in the name of Gyanwapi, were actually Samvidhan Papi. Earlier, India Today spoke to the videographer who actually saw what was on the site. Kamal dekha aur phoolon ki ladiyan dekhi, jo phool se bane hote hain, aur thik samne wali diwal pe andar ki taraf, ghanta bhi tanga hua hai. The survey of the Gyanwapi Mosque has been allowed on a petition filed by five women demanding daily prayers at the Gaudi Shringar Temple next to the Masjid. Sangh Parivar outfits have often maintained Kashi and Mathura are the next goals after winning Ayodhya Ram Janmabhoomi dispute. Are the slew of petitions in Kashi and Mathura a prelude to another Mandir movement? With Preeti Chaudhary and Samar Srivastava from Varanasi, Bureau Report, India Today. Why should the learned judge fear for his safety and for the safety of his family? Who is creating this atmosphere of fear and will the Yogi Adityanath government ensure that rule of law prevails? Joining me on India First is Dr. Shoaib Jamai. He is the chairman of the Indian Muslim Council and Foundation. Also with me is Anila Singh, spokesperson of the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party in Uttar Pradesh. And Anila Singh, UP government failed to ensure that court orders were followed twice in the past, in the wake of obstruction created over the issue of videography at the Gyanwapi Mosque, will your government ensure court orders are implemented this time, ma'am? My Ram Ram to everyone. Uh, but uh, this moment we are discussing about Shri Kashi, so for her, Mahade. Definitely. In Uttar Pradesh, we have Yogi Sarkar. And uh, whatever is being told by court to Yogi Sarkar, so Yogi Sarkar is going to do that. Police administration is definitely going to show that everything goes very smoothly. And those who are not going to let the procedure go smooth, they have to face a repercussion. So they have to understand this is Uttar Pradesh. So they know hanky-panky. Ma'am, on the Will 6th be, of May and the 7th of May, your government failed. Your government failed twice. The videography that was to be conducted on both those days, only 10% of the work was done according to the court appointed commissioner 90% still to be done ma'am hamari sharafat ko hamari kamzori na samjha jaye so there are many things uh, which are not being uh, told publicly that why no action was taken but definitely there were reasons do you think the police administration of uttar pradesh is that weak that it couldn't ha that uh, they wouldn't have taken any action against those people who were not letting the survey happen Ma'am, you have to tell us that. Ma'am, you have to tell us that at a time when a civil judge fears for the safety of his family, his family fears for his life. But there's a very important point that you've said: "Hamari sharafat ko, hamari kamzori mat samajna." Dr. Shoaib Jamai, obstructing videography that was ordered by court. आप मानते हैं कि उसको रोकना गलत था लेकिन ज्ञानवापी मस्जिद में यही हुआ कि वहां कानून का उल्लंघन हुआ कानून का पालन नहीं हुआ और अब भारतीय जनता पार्टी बहुत साफ तौर पर कह रही है कि उनकी शराफत को उनकी कमजोरी ना समझे कोई गौरव लेट मी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेक टॉक अबाउट दी कंसर्न रेज बाय द सिविल जज सिविल कोर्ट जज सी दैथी ऑफ ए स्टेट वे दे क्लेम दैट द BJP ruled state and ruled by the Yogi Adityanath uh, uh, is a very strict in law and order. Parinda bhi par nahi maar sakta. Wahan pe ek civil court ka judge keh raha hai ki mujhe dar lagta hai. Mere family concern hai. This exposes the whole law and order situation of a state. Agar ek law, civil judge ka court ya ek civil court ka judge agar yahan se dar mehsoos kar raha hai to aam aadmi ki kya halat hogi? Betiyan kitni darti hogi? Gundo se aaj bhi betiyan dar rahi hai. थानों में पुलिस स्टेशन के आज, आज के मेरा प्रश्न मेरा प्रश्न आपसे बहुत सीधा था 
my question was very straight yes at the gyanwapi mosque court orders were not implemented so stay on that subject but let me take this to anila singh anila singh no no uh, let, dr let shoaib jamai this. says dr shoaib jamai says very clearly this shows the pathetic condition of law and order in uttar pradesh that court orders are not followed and that even a judge is scared about he is concerned about his family's safety they are concerned about his safety ma'am i just rose i just have to say one thing to dr jamai dr jamai please aap kisi confusion mein mat rahiye ka uttar pradesh has bhagwa sarkar and bhagwa is one of the color of our tiranga and it has got its own strength so don't try to do any any hanky panky business in uttar pradesh you won't be spared or people like you won't be spared but i have to say one thing whatever the honorable judge has said he he is correct in a way when ayodhya judgment was given by three respond, judges immediately after that wife plus uh, wife plus category same security wait, was, was uh, please one by one please go on ma'am complete your point then dr jamai will respond so the three judges who gave judgment on shri ayodhya ram lalla mandir immediately wire plus security was given to them so this is a real character of this community where is bhai chara where is ganga yumni tahzeeb where is ishwar allah there is nothing like ishwar allah ek there is nothing like bhai chara there is nothing like uh, ganga yumni tahzeeb for them it is one thing gazwa hain it is a kabza jihad which they had been no, doing and in today that's a very grave in, on on what basis are you saying this dr jamai wants to respond to you dr jamai there is no ganga jamuni tehzeeb is what uh, the bjp spokesperson is saying accusing uh, you know some people of of violating the law at the gyanwapi mosque not following court orders is bar कोर्ट के आदेश का पालन होगा ज्ञानवापी मस्जिद में इसका इसका क्या जो मुस्लिम पक्ष है वो इसकी गारंटी देगा सर गौर आई एल आंसर यू क्वेश्चन बट लेट मी रिस्पॉन्ड टू अनिला सिंह बिकॉज आई हैव ए वेरी हाई ऑब्जेक्शन टू इट व्हेन समवन सेट बिकॉज एज अ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी आई फील दैट आई हैव टू रिस्पॉन्ड कि आप जब कहते हैं ना कि भगवा सरकार तो मुझे लगता है कि जो संविधान जो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के तहत जो सरकार आई है एक प्रदेश में जो सब धर्मों का है जो सिर्फ भगवान नहीं बल्कि तिरंगे के तीनों रंग हरे रंग भी सफेद रंग भी और भगवान रंग तीनों सम्मान करते हैं और संविधान के ओथ लेकर के जब आप जाते हैं तो वो कोई भगवा सरकार या हरा सरकार नहीं होती वो देश की सरकार होती है प्रदेश की सरकार होती है संविधान के साथ चलने की तो इस तरह की बातें करना पहले बंद कीजिए ये बहुत गलत है और संविधान के विरुद्ध है आपसे उम्मीद नहीं है लेकिन मैं दूसरी बात कहना चाह रहा हूं जिन्होंने जवाब दिया जिसके बारे में पूछ मैं ये पूछ रहा हूं कि आप इस देश को कहां अराजकता की तरफ लेना ले जाना चाहते हैं जो सिविल कोर्ट के जज सिविल कोर्ट के जज ने जो ऑर्डर दिया है आप उसका पालन करवाइए पुलिस आपकी प्रशासन आपकी वीडियोग्राफी आप करवा रहे लेकिन सवाल यह उठता है कि जब आप ऐसे चर्चों में हमें बुलाएंगे तो मैं 1991 रिलीजियस प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट की बात करूंगा और मैं जरूर याद दिलाऊंगा कि जब अयोध्या का मामला चल रहा था सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने फाइनल जजमेंट में कहा कि अब यह रेस्ट हो गया मामला अब हम आगे कुछ नहीं होगा वो निश्चय हो जाएगा वो अब यहां तो पे अदालत में होगा वो निर्णय तो होगा। अदालत में होगा लेकिन, लेकिन सर... मेरा प्रश्न यह है कि जिस तरह से कुछ कुछ लोगों ने कोर्ट अपॉइंटेड कमेटी को अपना काम नहीं करने दिया ज्ञानवापी मस्जिद में क्या इस बार और एक बार नहीं दो बार कि नब्बे फीसदी काम नहीं हो पाया है यह कोर्ट अपॉइंटेड कमिश्नर का कहना है केवल दस फीसदी काम हुआ तो क्या वो एलिमेंट्स इस बार भी दंगा करेंगे या ऑब्स्ट्रक्ट करेंगे और काम नहीं होने देंगे गौरव जी उसमें कोर्ट का ऑर्डर 1991 का जो वो ऑर्डर वो अदालत में तय होगा अब मेरा प्रश्न आपसे मेरा मेरा प्रश्न आपसे बहुत आप आप डॉज कर रहे हैं आप डॉज कर रहे हैं मैं डॉज नहीं कर रहा हूं मेरा प्रश्न सीधा, सीधा, सीधा है क्या कोर्ट अपॉइंटेड कमेटी जब वीडियोग्राफी के लिए आएगी तो लोग रास्ता रोकेंगे जो मस्जिद के अंदर है या काम होने देंगे जो कोर्ट का आदेश है कानून का राज चलेगा भारत में या फिर बल का राज चलेगा प्रसाद दो बातें कहूंगा पहली बात तो प्रशासन आपके हाथ में पुलिस आपके हाथ में आपकी जिम्मेदारी होनी चाहिए उसको पूरा कराएं और कमेटी के साथ बैठकर के समन्वय स्थापित करके काम करें और कोई ऐसा विरुद्ध काम ना करें जो उस ऑर्डर में नहीं है जिस जैसा पिछले बार कमिश्नर साहब ने करने की कोशिश की कि नॉर्दर्न गेट की बात हुई थी नौबत खाना गेट की बात होगी थी अंदर घुस के खुदाई करना शुरू कर दिया आदेश आया है इस बार बहुत क्लियर आदेश इस बार आया ना इस बार बात देखिएगा मुझे लगता दूसरी बात आपने कहा कोर्ट के जो जज है वो डर रहे हैं सर जज का डर क्या होता है वो जस्टिस लोया की फैमिली से पूछिएगा 
चलिए जस्टिस लोया की फैमिली आज मैं आपको डाइवर्ट नहीं करने दूंगा मेरे पास समय सीमित है जस्टिस लोया को भी याद कीजिए कोर्ट का आदेश जो आज है यहाँ पर यहाँ ऐसी स्थिति है या नहीं है कौन यहाँ से डरा रहा है उसके नाम अनिला सिंह जस्ट प्लीज अनिला सिंह नेम सही बात है अनिला सिंह जवाब दीजिए एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन आपका एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन आपका पुलिस आपका और फिर भी काम मैं चैलेंज कर रहा हूँ मैं पूछ रहा हूँ जवाब दिया आप नाम बताए जज को जो अभी इन्होंने नाम लिया की ये उसका परिवार से डर के बारे में पूछिए साहब क्या डर है जो स्टेटमेंट मैंने उनके परिवार के सुने टेलीविजन पे वो तो बिल्कुल भी नहीं डर रहे हैं किसी भी चीज से नहीं डर रहे किसी को भी आरोपित नहीं करे शर्म आनी चाहिए परिवार से भी अच्छा अशोक जब मैं जवाब बोल रहे थे तो अनिला सिंह नहीं बोली मस्जिद में ज्ञान रखी मस्जिद में क्या हुआ मैं नहीं जानता लेकिन मेरे शो पर कानून चलेगा आप अब आप चुप रहेंगे अब आपने जो ऑर्डर दिया है नहीं 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 अब आप चुप रहेंगे केवल पानल कराने की जिम्मेदारी सरकार की ठीक है प्रशासन आपके अब अनिला सिंह जवाब देंगे अब आप चुप रहेंगे जज डरता है फेडर डाउन कीजिए कानून व्यवस्था फेडर डाउन कीजिए शेफ जमाई अब चुप रहेंगे शेफ जमाई अब आप चुप रहिए केवल अनिला सिंह बोलेंगे और अनिला सिंह आप बोलिए फेडर डाउन कीजिए अब शेफ जमाई प्रशासन जो फेलियर हो रही है यहाँ पर गुंडागर्दी नहीं होगी जवाब दीजिए फेलियर नहीं हो रही है डॉक्टर जमाई आप जैसे लोग जो उद्दंडता करते हैं ना वो लोग खौफ खाते हैं भगवा सरकार से भगवा में वो ताकत है आप लोग वो लोग हैं यहाँ पर एक षडयंत्री जो सरकारें बनी हुई है जिन लोगों ने 50 साल यहाँ पे राज किया है भगवा को आतंकवाद बना दिया था भगवा रंग ही जो है आतंकवाद का बनाया हुआ था ये तो मैं कहूंगी 50 साल का जो कुक्रम रहा है दो से इस भारत की किस्मत बदली है ऐसा प्रधानमंत्री आया जो सबका साथ सबका विकास सबका विश्वास के साथ देश को आगे बढ़ाना चाहता है बट बट द पीपल लाइक यू हु वॉन्ट टू इंस्टिगेट Who wants to disturb the harmony and peace of the state and the country? They won't be pardoned. They won't be spared. And if I talk about Gyan Bapi, अगर वहाँ पे हम बात करते हैं तो लेक पुराण में मंदिर के मैम इस पर इस पर कानूनी कार्रवाई क्या करेगी योगी आदित्यनाथ की सरकार? क्योंकि 6 मई और 7 मई को कोर्ट के आदेश का पालन नहीं हुआ। कौन है उसका जिम्मेदार? कौन है उसका दोषी? क्या कार्रवाई करेगी आपकी सरकार? ये प्रश्न अभी योगी आदित्यनाथ सरकार के ऊपर अभी ये है अनिला सिंह जी इसका उत्तर आपको देना होगा। But I'm also joined now by Rahul Ishwar, an activist, and Rahul Ishwar rather sad that when a learned civil judge has to say that there's an atmosphere of fear being created, his family is concerned about his safety, he's concerned about their safety. The question remains: Who's creating this atmosphere of fear? And what action will the law of this land take against such elements, Rahul Ishwar? Please remember, we are a nation with rule of law. As a Hindu activist, I concede there are, it's a very tricky issue. Our Muslim brothers need to understand the sensitivity of Madhura and Ayodhya. These three spaces are very holy for Hindu community. And Hindu community has been demanding these spaces for years. Yes, you know, even look at the Ayodhya Babri Masjid verdict. Supreme Court went to a great extent to reassure our Muslim brothers and to find a consensus. See, we Hindus and Muslims should sit together, try for consensus, talk out difficult conversations. Yes, these are difficult conversations, but we need to talk it out so that we can find a consensus. And Supreme Court last time even uh, requested people like Sri Sri Devi Shankarji, who is a world-renowned spiritual guru, to initiate conversation and to find some kind of a consensus. And please remember, these two spaces... Our father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, was pained when he saw the Kashi Vishwanath temple said, you know, I am sad about the state of the affairs. That's the reason why modern Indian governments Rahul. have to read okay. this. Rahul, and Dr. Shweb Jamai, that's a pertinent very... point that Rahul Ishwar makes. Consensus, reconciliation, whether it's Mathura, Kashi or Ayodhya. They hold a very special significance for Hindus, as Rahul Ishwar argues. Is there, is there some way that there could be reconciliation and forward movement or will confrontation remain, sir? Absolutely. Dr. Jamai. See, Gaurav, when people talk about the history of the history, rewrite the history, go down the lane, you want to have a consensus. How do you rewrite the history? Aurangzeb has broken the Kashi Vishwanath Mandir. This is a history, historical fact. I'm talking about this historical fact today. Today, Raghavendra Shukla has written that in 1659, औरंगजेब ने बनारस के यहाँ से मुगल जो एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर से उसको ये फरमान जारी किया कि बनारस के सारे मंदिरों की आप सुरक्षा करें और 1669 में ये तुड़वा दिया काशी विश्वनाथ का मंदिर अच्छा वो भी क्यों तुड़ा ये भी बता देता हूँ क्योंकि औरंगजेब का भाई था शूजा वो जा करके मिल गए वहाँ पे क्या बोलते वहाँ के जो हिंदू राजा थे तो आप मंदिर तोड़ देंगे नहीं हिंदुओं की धार्मिक आस्था की जगह है वो औरंगजेब जैसा एक जंगूर 
एक ये जंग रा, रा, राजा मंदिर तोड़ देगा और औरंगजेब ने तोड़ा ही नहीं आस्था का मंदिर नहीं मांगे औरंगजेब ने नहीं तोड़ा वो सूजा और जो यहां से उसके हिंदू राजा की जब लड़ाई हुई वहां पे जंग में और शिवाजी सब साथ में आ गए तो वहां पे स्ट्रक्चर कुछ टूटे हैं और जिसके बाद यहां से बनने दीजिए मंदिर अनिल सिंह जवाब दूसरी बात जो इसको रोक रहे हैं जो इसको रोक रहे हैं नहीं 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 आपको बता दू अनिल सिंह आपको हजारों मंदिरों को तोड़ा है लूट का माल लेके गए और इन्हीं हिंदू राजाओं ने चालुक्या ने ये 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 अशोका ने जो है कई बुद्धिस्ट स्तूपा को तोड़ करके वहां मंदिर बना दी आप इनसे यहाँ से बैठ जाइए दलितों के साथ बौद्धों के साथ बैठ जाइए इनसे संवाद मतलब आप और तो शोएब जमाई आप इस समाज को और तोड़ने की बात करेंगे नहीं आप जोड़ने की बात नहीं कर सकते राहुल ईश्वर में रिकन्सिलियेशन की बात जो आप नहीं कर सकते राहुल राहुल ओनली राहुल रिस्पॉन्ड पेंडोरा बॉक्स है इट इज पॉसिबल दिस इज दीडर बॉक्सिंग पेंडोरा बॉक्स And these these militants, militants, talk about ideology it. should be banned in India itself because it was banned by the Iron Man. Okay, uh, Iron Ra Man only Rahul Ishwar. Sir, 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 just, sir, just, sir, uh, Abdul sir, just a humble request. Is it possible that the senior leaders, spiritual leaders from both our community, whether it be Muslim community and Hindu community, along with court and others, can we sit together and solve and talk this issue out? Because what else is the way forward? As I rightly pointed out, Kashi, Madura, and Ayodhya have special significance because these were not merely temples. Beyond temples, these were janmasthans, these were mulasthans, these were places where prana pratishtha was held, and deities were born and invoked in a bigger way. There are sentiments of centuries here. So is it possible? Let me take this to Anila Singh. That's a fair point. There's a point that is being raised by Dr. Jamai. Uh, Anila Singh ji. How will you ensure one rule of law is followed? And Dr. Shoaib Jamai asks, is there a guarantee that after Ayodhya it will remain restricted to Kashi and Mathura in case there's an amicable resolution and will not expand, for example, to Kutub Minar or, or uh, you know the Bhot Shala at, um, at Madhya Pradesh and perhaps 4,000 other such structures that Muslims are accused, Muslim rulers are accused to have uh, broken when they were ruling this country, madam. See, whenever they have to use um, uh, all the rights, they will start saying that uh, uh, this right is for this thing, this right is uh, that right is for that thing. But whenever any issue regarding Hindus come, they start playing victim card. And in today's date, in eight states, Hindus are in minority. Their population has increased to 20 crores, almost 20 yeah, crores, and still they say are, we are the victims. Nizab is a victim and Bhagwa is a villain. This is what they try no, to no, play just here. But the thing is, Anila but the thing is, in will you India, guarantee that if this Kashi and Mathura will be solved immediately, you do not have any Pandora box or any other list of the temples? What is the guarantee that Mathura and Kashi are being solved amicably? Ayodhya was not solved amicably. That will take a court order. But Clearly, clearly, clearly I've run out of time on this part of the show. Because, but we'll be tracking the story. We'll be tracking the story very, very closely. I've run out of time on this part of the show. But it is Yogi Adityanath government's responsibility in Uttar Pradesh to ensure that court orders are implemented in total. We'll be tracking that story very closely. Thank you all for joining me here.